you know, after the riots in Bombay, what is the situation in the film industry right now? The situation in whole of India has uh, uh, been affected badly and especially the film industry has been very badly affected. Uh, the attendance uh, even otherwise was going down because of the cable TV, satellites and all these things. But now especially after these riots, uh, people don't attend the last show and if, even the other shows are also affected uh, and as much as it is very difficult to cover even the theatre rentals. So the business has been very badly affected. But uh, the film industry has been affected before also, but we have somehow survived and I hope that we will survive this time also. All these things will be things of past. It is only the, not the riots, but the bombs and bomb blasts and everything, which was worse than the riots also. We have survived that also. And the history of the world shows that the world has also survived. You see what has happened in uh, Ireland, Belfast and all these things. Two sects of the same Christianity, Protestants and uh, Catholics, they fight amongst themselves and kill and do all those things. And uh, still the people survive and I am quite confident that all these things are passing things. They will go away and will again be normal and will the attendance in cinema that will increase and we will survive properly. After that, there was the, after the riot, there were the bomb blasts, and uh, now that in investigation, the bomb blast was uh, worse than the riots. Yeah. I mean, uh, really? You know, after the after the riots, there were the bomb blasts. Yeah. Uh, and uh, now the investigations of that is on. Yeah. So, uh, you know, and it seems that bomb bomb blasts also affected us very badly. You know. Uh, in these one cinemas, <coughs> such number or something, opposite that, three buildings were blown up and the cinema was also affected. So there were two other cinemas where also the bombs were, Gita cinema and Regal cinema, you know, there the bombs were uh, put in. So you see that uh, undermines the confidence of the audience to come to the cinema halls. But as I said, these things, uh, pass away and now uh, there are movies which are drawing even full houses in the lost shows. A picture like Anke is drawing full houses even in the night show everywhere. If the movie is accept accepted by the audience then they come in all shows. But it has affected but as I said uh, it won't be for very long and things will become normal. Has there been some kind of problem, um, uh, some kind of nervousness after the death of Divya Bharati because she was doing so? Divya Bharati, it, it has been very unfortunate uh, thing that she passed away in the prime of her youth and then some of her movies were very successful, Divana and some others. And she was coming up uh, very much and at the, this stage of life, uh, it, it is a very bad blow to the whole film industry because there are so many movies which are incomplete and which are in advanced stage. They cannot be finished without her and so you see the producers are left uh, in a very bad position. And unfortunately in India, we don't have insurance system. In other countries, the insurance system is there where the producer if some artist goes away, then the entire cost is borne by the insurance company. Here we have no such system. It is the producer who is uh, directly affected and there is no compensation for anything. Then you are shooting this film uh, in uh, Mauritius. Mauritius, yeah. With, uh, with yeah. What is the film about? The film, uh, uh, <coughs> film is about two brothers, one friend and other characters. One brother is a police officer and the other one, he, he giants, uh, uh, some criminals and all that thing. But this was to support uh, the younger brother so that he finishes his studies and all that. And there is another friend.
So it's a story of three people, a friend and two brothers, and they are ultimately they all work for good. How much of the film have become? About eighty percent of the film is ready. Uh, and now what happens? No, let us see. We will keep our fingers crossed that uh, we are able to finish the balance of the work. It, it will depend on what is happening in his case. when he will be free to work you know also there was after the uh, the rise there was a trend in which uh, mm -hmm. the films were banned mm -hmm. the films were they were asking to change the scenes of films and you know surely was one such case uh, you, you see we uh, we uh, we met mr bal takre also and pointed out to him that mr hangal is working in about 200 movies 100 movies it is uh, the poor producer should not be allowed to suffer for that and he agreed with us and our three people whom he named shabana azmi and dilip kumar had not gone even it was only hangal and uh, for that the picture should be he agreed with us uh, but uh, let us hope that uh, all those uh, ban orders uh, everything is withdrawn in that it said that you changed you hmm? moved some shots there 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 that print which was there uh the some shots were removed but why did you do that no but there there were 9 500 people you see there are <laughs> it's very easy uh, to say why did you do it what do you do there is a mob there is a crowd there is this thing so you uh, <clears throat> in a cinema uh, you are living in a glass house you cannot uh, uh, afford to fight with people and all this thing and also that one should not submit uh, after all picture has been properly censored and this thing and we should not <clears throat> but to avoid some people threaten that if you don't do this we will burden minerva um, cinema right now so you see after that uh, i i had spoken to bal talk like that very day and then we have seen him and he agreed with us that uh, yeah, this should not be done and he will issue uh, uh, that uh, this ban against his movies is removed so considering all this do you huh? think, considering all these points yeah. do you think this is probably the worst time for the hindi film cinema it is it is worst time it is worst time and perhaps the best times you see uh, it is uh, how you look at today the whole world is opening up the satellite business is going up so much all this thing movies will be more and more demand on uh, in this uh, in these venues also it will not be only cinema houses but there there will be other sources uh, where a uh, lot of income will come from so as i say as an optimist i look to the brighter side of it and not only to the darker side and uh, hope that uh, there will be compensating uh, channels also where we will make enough money Uh, but and you see cinema is not only money uh, it gives you a sense of satisfaction uh, a showman is always a showman uh, so i would today not opt out for any other business whatever the condition of cinema business i will st uh, stick to that uh, no other uh, uh, media or business can give me that sense of satisfaction as i uh, uh, get from making movies until when uh, by when did you uh Did you plan to finish uh, Atish earlier? Uh, it's a it's a question that no producer can answer. We we want to finish by this date, but then many a times a lot of things happen. It is uh, this unfortunate thing is there, but otherwise also things happen which uh, the pictures don't get completed. We c we know when we started, when we'll finish, when the last shot is taken, and actually the rest of the work is finished. Then only we know. that the picture has been finished i have uh, wanted to release this picture in diwali i hope i still can do it and uh, everything i hope will go fine